So, um, I just finished Young and Hungry, and just so you all know, it ends on a cliffhanger. I am de- choosing, uh, to believe that it has the ending that I wanted to have. Um, but there's five seasons. Um, when they canceled it, they ordered uh, a series finale, but the series finale was then canceled, just completely scrapped. Uh, so yeah, it just it has a bit of a cliffhanger. It's a really cute show. Uh, Emily Osmond's character, Gabby, is really, really endearing, really sweet, kind of frustrating sometimes, but uh, I think that's one of the things that makes her more lovable, um, makes her a little bit more human, I guess, uh, because anyone who says that they're not a frustrating individual at some, like, at any point in their life is lying, um, but it was, yeah, it was a really enjoyable show, super, super cute, very much Disney Channel vibes, um, as far as, like, half-hour episodes, um, the cinematography was very, very similar to, uh, Disney Channel. I think their sets were really, really similar. Uh, just the, the content was, was more adult. Um, it was, uh, I'd give it, like, a PG-13. I don't know what its actual rating score thing was. Uh, content rating, I think that's what it's called. Um, but I'd give it a PG-13. Um, it was a little bit of swearing, but nothing, uh, I think there were, like, two B words, um, and they were bleeped out. I think there was supposed to be an F-bomb, but it was also bleeped out. So, uh, yeah, just slightly more adult content. Um, but yeah, no, it was really, really enjoyable. So, 